All this week, News 10's Mark Allen is living life on the streets, learning firsthand about the challenges the homeless face every day in the Wabash Valley. Now, Mark was hoping to get some sleep during his second night of being homeless, so let's find out how he did. Good morning, Mark. Morning, Dad. Now, I did, get, last, I did get some sleep. Good, good. I'm glad you did, because I was going to say yesterday morning, that was kind of the challenge. You hadn't slept pretty you maybe slept one hour yesterday but you did get some sleep last night how many how many hours did you get do you think last night here in this uh, truck mark could you say that again i didn't come clear on the over in the audio four hours here in the truck that i okay so you slept four hours can you hear me mark i mean Yes. Okay, okay. Let's talk a little bit about the big challenge that you faced yesterday was the rain. Well, it, uh, yeah, it was wet and uh, my feet are still wet. I got, I'm getting great advice from viewers out there who have been homeless uh, on how to keep my feet dry, for instance, putting some baggies inside my shoes or my socks. So that helps. Well, my shoes are still wet. I'm working on that today. Also. Got some food. Well, that's what I was going to just ask you. Also, yesterday we were talking about food. Did you find any food yesterday? I did. Uh, I, I got some food. I'm okay there. Uh, we got to find some food this morning. I'd love to find a cup of coffee. And, uh, and frankly, my nut hit the bottom of a birdcage. So, um, you know, but I, I'm going to be honest with you. It's, um, it's tough staying clean. It's tough staying fed. And it's tough getting rest out here. I think that's the interesting thing, the, the theme that I, I seem to get from, from this is the fact that it's just a cycle. You wake up every day and your thing is to find food, shelter, and just the basic necessities to live as a human. Yeah, it is, it is the struggle. I mean, uh, every morning, you know, I wake up and I think, okay, I've got to go to work on that today. And uh, it's a day-long process, but then the next day, like you say, you wake up facing the same thing. And it, you know what else, Abby, I have to say, I've met so many wonderful people out here, and so many who have been homeless, if only for a few days, four or five days. I've met these young people. They've uh, kicked in other houses or whatever, and they're, and they're really telling me stories. Well, thanks, Mark, and we're going to try and get those audio issues fixed. Thank you very, Mark. We'll, we'll come back and talk with you a little bit later in our newscasting. Again, that was Mark Allen coming in to us live via the Internet. And don't forget that Mark is just a click away by going to WTHITV.com. You can track his journey daily, hourly, or even minute by minute. And we'll also talk with Mark again in our next half hour. And remember, if there's a question that you'd like me to ask Mark while we're talking, you can log on to my Twitter page. Now, you can do that by going to our website at WTHITV.com and clicking on the participate link on the homepage. Then you can message me your question, and we just may ask your question live on the air with Mark.